Dear friends, greetings to every one of you in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So the whole day we are meditating about Jesus Christ and his uh, glorious uh, death on the cross through the powerful wonderful suffering for us. So the great things from the cross, the greatest blessings from the cross, we are continuously meditating. So very specially the last supper, the Passover, the God's constitution of the holy communion so we meditated the last thing happened in the life of jesus christ that is very important we have to give more importance into that and that will bring lots of blessings in our lives so before he left this earth he went to heaven and he suffered on the cross so that last what happened in the life of jesus christ that is very important so the last words on the cross all of us we know in detail so the last word on the cross jesus father into your hand i commit my spirit so today we are going to meditate one important thing the last happened in the life of jesus before he went to cross in this earth jesus prayed in the garden of gethsemane we are going to meditate about the last prayer of jesus christ in this world in his flesh before the cross so turn your bible luke chapter 22 verse 44 so here the god's word says explain about the last prayer of jesus christ so here the bible says jesus prayed more fervently earnestly and he was in such a agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like a great drops of blood the blood of jesus christ the sweat became a great drop of blood and fell on the ground this is the last prayer of jesus in this earth for every one of us so through this prayer the lord want to give you more spiritual understanding and revelation to grow in your spiritual life so you may ask a question why jesus prayed like that to for every one of us for you for me the entire world he prayed to the father and he committed his life into the will of god that time the sweat became a blood the bible says it became a great drops we may see in the rain drops very small but the blood became a great big drop fell on this earth we can give the name for this prayer prayer by shedding the blood in the life of jesus christ several type of prayers are there jesus prayed in the whole night jesus prayed in the early in the morning jesus prayed 40 days the same way many things written about the prayer of jesus the same way in the new testament praying in the holy spirit praying in the prom- with the promises of god today the important prayer prayer by the shedding the blood dear friends today we have to also we have to give our full interest our mind our heart to pray like jesus christ so the important thing jesus prayed in the garden of gethsemane to make us holy through his salvation the prayer the last prayer of jesus christ he wrestling in the prayer with a groaning spirit that time only the blood the sweat became a great drop of blood for every one of us several times we are battling with the unwanted worldly things several times we are not praying several times we are not reading the bible we are totally controlled by the unwanted useless worldly things for that only jesus the sweat of jesus with a groaning spirit he is crying he is praying the sweat became a blood the great drop of blood to make us holy how many of you are ready to willing to pray like jesus by shedding the blood that means the super most prayer that is the the pain lord make me holy several times i am i am doing the same sinful things lord and asking forgiveness again and again today lord give me the grace i have to also pray like you my prayer life should be the supreme one the highest level of prayer 
my sweat should become a blood such a way i have to pray dear friends the word of god very clearly says how we have to pray this is a important word everyone note this hebrew 12:4 hebrew 12:4 says after all you have not yet reached to the point in prayer of sweating blood in your opposition in your struggle with the worldly sins your prayer is not at all reached to the point in the garden of gethsemane how much jesus prayed his sweat became a great drop of blood for every one of us check your prayer life check your bible reading time we are living in the modern world everywhere our children they are living like the worldly people no jesus in their life this is the very high time dear friends we have to check out we have to our home all of us we should be in our knees like jesus and in prayer boy our sweat should become a blood this is the expectation of the lord jesus christ prayer life should be changed like this hebrew 12:4 we have to wrestle we have to fight the present the world the enemy by in our knees by shedding the blood this is the super most the supreme level of the praying life praying by shedding the blood so your prayer life it should be you should reach the point by sweating blood in your struggle by opposing the devil the bible says resist the devil in prayer he will flee away so you have to be in the knees your prayer should reach the point of sweating blood in your opposing the devil the struggle you are facing with the worldly things so today continuously we are going to meditate how we can our prayer should be based how we have to pray so the another prayer we have to claim we are created all the human being we are created by the one blood of jesus christ because blood of jesus shed for every human being whoever they may be the blood of jesus was shed for them acts 17:26 you note this word i can only give the word you can note it and in your home you can read it so here the bible says god has made all of us through from one blood and he blessed us and determined where we have to stay our home our boundaries our dwelling place our properties everything is pre ordained pre destined so several times we are praying only for ourselves but every human being whatever may be their faith this is our duty we have to pray for their salvation because through the one blood god made every people in the throat to the nation so the blood of jesus christ the one blood the one blood made all the human being so we have to have the burden for the salvation of other people hebrew 9:22 here the word of god very clearly says without shedding of blood there is no forgiveness the blood of jesus christ already forgive all our sins in your prayer by in the prayer by shedding the blood you have to thank god for your forgiveness grace so revelation 1:5 the bible says the blood of jesus set us free from the sin revelation 15 so revelation 59 says we are purchased to god by the blood of jesus you have to climb i am purchased lord i am purchased by the blood of jesus i can't do any sin colossians 1:14 very clearly says we are redeemed through the blood of jesus you have to climb these things in your prayer then only your prayer will be powerful your prayer will be answered by god so these kind of the points based on the word of god will help you to reach the point of sweating blood in your struggling the opposition towards the sin according to hebrew 12:4 huh. through the blood of jesus christ i am forgiven the blood of jesus christ i am set as a lord set me 
free from sin i am purchased by the blood of jesus ephesians 114 i am redeemed through the blood of jesus ephesians 17 very clearly says ephesians 17 we are uh, we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sin i am redeemed and forgiven through the blood of jesus christ first peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 So here the Bible says we are rescued not through silver or gold we are rescued by the precious blood of Jesus Christ the spotless and the innocent lamb of God okay. the blood of Jesus Christ is much more greater than the worldly blessing like silver and gold where is your mind right now okay. the worldly things the money your mind should be full of the mind of Christ you have to come into the garden of gethsemane and you have to pray your sweat should be come out as a great drop of blood this is the expectation of jesus christ about you today you are redeemed not by the silver and gold you are rescued by the precious blood of jesus christ claim this word of god for all you need very specially any of you are praying for your gift of child blessing such a long years you have to claim this word of god through the blood of jesus christ what are the blessings you received you have to claim miraculously god will bless you with the gift of child soon again the blood of jesus hebrew 9 12 says we are received the eternal redemption through the blood of jesus we the previous word says not through silver and gold here the bible says not through the blood of goats or cows but with his own blood own blood who are obtained the eternal redemption you have to thank god for your eternal redemption okay. hebrew 1320 here the everlasting covenant so here the bible says through the blood of jesus we are received the everlasting covenant of god so sakaria 911 here the bible says the sakaria several years before he is prophesying about the blood of jesus because of the blood of my covenant with you i have set your prisoners free from the waterless pit the word of god fulfilled in the life of joseph joseph was in the waterless pit he redeemed he totally through the everlasting covenant he is redeemed and he reached the greatest blessings of god you have to live like joseph without any kind of the worldly disturbance you have to live a holy life you have to go run away from the sins hebrew 13 12 through the blood of jesus christ we are sanctified we received the sanctification through the blood of jesus christ so hebrew 10:19 the, here the bible says we received a easy access to the holy throne of grace with a great confidence and boldness and enter into the holy place through the blood of jesus we received the blessing access and reached the holy throne of grace with a great confidence i am the child of god i am redeemed by the blood of jesus i am rescued by the blood of jesus i can reach the holy throne of grace directly with a boldness with a authority as a child of god colossian 120 very important word colossian 120 it says we are reconciled with god and made peace through the blood of his cross we are reconciled with with god through the blood of jesus christ on the cross ephesians 2:13 here the bible says we are brought very near to him near to god as a children of god through the blood of jesus christ so you have to claim in your prayer through the blood of jesus christ ephesians 2:13 is a very important word you have to claim lord i am your child lord i am living a holy life give me the grace lord give me more grace lord and all your prayer will be answered okay. this word of god very clearly says once we were far away from god but now through the blood of jesus christ we came close next to jesus we can able to sit on the throne the bible says i will give him the grace and authority to sit with me along with me in my throne 
because Ephesians 5:30 the bible says we belongs to the body of Jesus Christ we belongs to the blood of Jesus Christ we belongs to the bones of Jesus Christ we belongs to the entire organ because our body is the temple of the holy spirit how can we do sin against god how can we have the unwanted worries and sorrow anger all the unwanted peacelessness restlessness how today come close to jesus you belongs to the body of jesus christ you belongs to the blood of jesus very closely so finally this is a very important blessing through the blood of jesus christ romans chapter 5 verse 9 so anyone having english you can go through the the passion translation tpt translation it says you are now righteous in my sight this is the word of god so through the blood of jesus christ we are god made us jesus made us righteous we are righteous people so through the blood of jesus christ you received the greatest blessing of god's righteousness is upon you now so these all the points you have to what you are through the blood of jesus christ if you pray god will answer all your prayer change your prayer life this is the greatest expectation to jesus more from your heart that is the great love we we can have only for jesus today how many of you are ready to pray with the blood shed how the blood, sweat of jesus christ became a great drop of blood we have to reach the point of our prayer by shedding the blood against the worldly sins jesus wants such a people to pray every day before him i can tell you one important thing you can solve 99% of our problem if you are praying in our knees with the mind of christ and by reading the word of god all the problem will be solved in your family how you will disturb how you will depress how the anxiety will touch you how the stress will come upon you because you are giving your entire mind and heart for the devil today come to the garden of gethsemane jesus is praying for you in that place his sweat is falling down on the ground the grass a great drop of blood okay. are you ready to kneel down nearby jesus right now everyone who are interested to pray through the blood of jesus you can start to pray now everyone close your eyes right now god's expectation you have to grow with the maturity of your holiness you are no more ch- child how long you will live like a child christian life okay. jesus christ already blessed you with a great peace that passeth all understanding how you can say i am restless i am tired i am worries i am sorrow i am anxiety i am sick i am this and that today change your prayer life before god change your prayer life change your bible reading you are called by god by shedding your blood and pray before him every day okay. how many of you need this prayer life of jesus today he is ready to give you right now take a decision and determination today i will pray like jesus i will read the bible more and more i will not give time for the only things any more i will live only for jesus only the cross will be for me the world will be behind me i will not turn back any more the blood of jesus christ is pleading for you right now before god in heaven the blood of jesus christ is pleading and praying for you right now come to jesus yes the bible says come to me i want to give you rest why there is a problem in your life why there is a sick in your life come close to the blood of jesus today the blood of jesus christ is cleansing you right now those who want to cleanse by the blood of jesus christ today ask the lord for your cleansing grace right now now the blood of jesus christ is empowering you as a child of god with the god's righteousness receive the holy spirit right now the holy spirit is coming upon you we want to be filled with the holy spirit right now the holy spirit is empowering powering you holy spirit is answering all your prayer right now day onwards 
all the time pray in your knees with jesus god will answer all your prayer thank you lord for answering our prayer in jesus name we pray amen